Hey there garden fans and welcome back to the Permaculture Homestead. It's warm enough here in Zone 8, South Carolina that I feel comfortable direct seeding some things. So today I just want to show you how I do my no-till direct seeding method. I've got a great microclimate here behind me by the elderberry hedge and I want to show you what I've been planting here. Enjoy the journey. So I've created this nice microclimate here between my tree and shrub layer. I'm getting a northerly windbreak from my elderberry hedge, and I have an open canopy from dormant trees that is letting a lot of sunlight in. With this microclimate, I have a warm area where I feel comfortable starting out some of my early spring veggies. We've got peas, spinach, and carrots on dock for today. I wanna to show you how I prepare this bed with as little disturbance as possible. A no-till method almost and plant directly into my food forest. Once I've got my pea trellises in I'm gonna roll back my mulch layer about a foot away from there and expose the soil. After about three years I'm starting to actually build a soil profile here so I'm comfortable direct seeding right now. I'm, I'm getting thick chunky soil and we started out with a pretty ugly sand pit. I'm gonna then flatten out my soil and just create a seed bed. I'm gonna mix my carrot and spinach seed together and go ahead and direct seed. I'm just gonna surface sow. I'm gonna try to keep them on this uh, forward six inches here, leave room for my peas, which I've soaked overnight to help aid germination. And then I'm gonna plant my peas on the other half of this foot wide bed. Once I've got everything seeded up, I'm of course gonna water it in and then reapply a light mulch layer. I'll apply more mulch as the plants start to pop up. So once again, I've got this open canopy that's giving me an east to west sun. I've got an elderberry hedge that's giving me northerly windbreak. And it's a perfect microclimate for me to go ahead and start some of my early season veggies. So I've got one more no-till direct seeding planting that I want to show you today. It's right here by my back door and it's where I'm going to do my poison garden. So I'm going to go ahead and direct seed some foxglove, some poppies, chamomile. And later on, I'm going to add castor bean to this three foot by three foot square area. Now, just like before, I'm going to go ahead and pull back my mulch layer. In this particular case, I'm going to go ahead and aerate my soil just a little bit. I know it gets dry over here. And then I'm going to remediate over in this area with some rabbit manure and compost. I'll water that mixture up and surface sow my seeds. Most of these seeds do like a cool period, so even if we get a cold snap, it's not going to hurt them whatsoever. And that's it for today, garden fans. I hope you enjoyed this little journey. Please like, share, and subscribe as always. And keep in touch on this little journey here. We'll watch the poison garden grow, and we can watch the veggies grow. We appreciate your support. God bless.